So currently my chores are camp chef and camp maintenance. So obviously now there's only like seven of us. So like it's a, a chore, like everything's becoming a lot harder because there is less of us to do stuff. Carolina. Yes, boss. Obviously, obviously I'm chef and I'm chop, chopper. Yeah. There, ain't, there ain't no pers there ain't no wood. I've got the fire going and then I'm coming back here to try and chop as much wood as I can. And then I've got to try and cook. Yeah, I just say everybody can all muck in. I like okay, that. So muck in. Muck in. Right, muck yeah, in. come on, guys, everyone muck Team. in. I'm muck on the in. kitchen. Woo -woo. It's really frustrating because nothing can happen unless somebody else has done their job. This morning we can't have breakfast because the pans aren't clean. We can't have the pans clean because the boiler is not lit. The boiler is not lit because there's only a little bit of wood. <laughs> Hiya. I need you either to do wood chopping or pumping. Can you do the wood thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Please. I'm just cracking on because if we, if we don't, then we can't eat. No. Louise, Louise takes it very seriously. I know, you know, I think you have to commend it. David and I were very much men of the people. Louise's approach is a little bit different. We're all doing all jobs. Got to do that. I've got to do something, apparently. Who we'll said that? Because we've got to do everything to get going. Yeah? I said that everybody can just do everything. Who said that? Huh? I said this. Don't go too bossy, uh, Louise. Don't take, don't, don't take your leadership too seriously. Listen, no, no, it, honestly, it it's, fi it's fine, but take, take it down, just, just for a while. <laughs> we do that, we no, won't no, eat. Just... If I stop this, if I stop doing it, we won't eat. We will, we will do it anyway. Shall I just stop? So it's very simple. I just said to Louise, don't take it seriously, please. Stay calm, OK? It's just a role in the castle. Don't patronise. Please, don't do that. I've also had a telling off by David Ginola. <laughs> Why? You need to calm down the leadership. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What did you say? Honestly, I had said nothing. I just, I just, you know, I just got everybody moving this morning. Oh, gosh. I just don't like it. I, you know, I just don't like being told off by anybody. I imagine that... Um, there are football managers out there who could give me some really good advice about how to manage David Ginola. I try and do things with compromise and gentleness. But there you go. But that's the job you've been given. I don't think you're being an arse about it. She's very sensitive. She tries to keep everybody happy. Uh, she's just trying to keep camp running. But also, David is a very sensitive person and um, I don't think he really likes being told what to do. I think she was a little bit upset for a little while. I'm gonna go and have a walk. OK. But don't let it bother you, cos you've not done anything. I don't want to argue. I don't want to talk. It's already too much conversation. Please. Be nice, nice and easy, and everything is going to be cushioned.